Okay, welcome to the One Piece Onesie Show. This is a, a Columbia suit. Has fluorescent accents. And this one's probably not really, really old. But uh, see the inside is pink. Kind of nice. Sweet suit, nice accents. Columbia. Columbia Sportswear Onesie. Okay, this is a Belf, Belfe, Belfe, or Belfi, Belfi. I don't know exactly how you pronounce it, but this suit is made in Italy. And I would say it's probably my ugliest one piece suit. It kind of just is a, a drab a blue, no other colors or accents. This suit feels kind of like a, like a rubber, like a rain suit, a plastic. So it's got to be uh, pretty waterproof, I, I imagine. I've never worn it out when it's been real wet. But Okay, probably my ugliest. Belfie, 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 made in Italy. Okay, this is a REI suit. I would not say that this is a, a classic vintage suit, but it is part of my collection. It's a REI one piece. Only very lightly insulated, more of a shell than a than an insulated suit. Uh, pretty pretty nice suit, but uh, REI. Well, you know, what can I tell you? Okay, this is a Nils suit. Uh, I really like this one. This one is <laughs> it's really cool. Uh, this is made entirely in the USA. This this onesie comes with a vest that is what's so cool about it is this vest is reversible on the suit and you see when you put it on this way it matches the uh, the exterior of the upper part of the suit which is pretty freaking cool huh and then of course you can take it the other way that you just saw it with and uh, true reversible vest uh, pockets uh, here which could be on the inside if you're going the other way this uh, mill suit Again, built uh, completely in the United States. It's an oldie. It's a vintage. It's a killer. Nice buckle accent here. The Nils. The Nils one piece. Fluorescent orange. Almost fluorescent. Not really fluorescent, but really bright. Uh, like a, like a, a traffic cone. So there it is. Okay. <clears throat> this suit is made by Altitude. And it, it, this suit was made in Korea. And uh, nice one piece suit. This is fully insulated and uh, does have uh, fluorescent highlights. Fluorescent highlights in the, in the collar here. And uh, anyway, I just love this suit. Basically, black with fluorescent and white highlights. Uh, this suit comes from the era of, uh, well, I would just show you this. This suit has a little pocket right here, right in the middle. This pocket is so minuscule, uh, you can only imagine what someone would have put in that pocket back in the 80s uh, when that was a big deal. Uh, uh, it, it was probably something white that looked like snow but wasn't snow. And so they ended up building some of these ski suits with these special miniature little pockets that, that you would put something in there. And so anyway, this is, uh, again, Altitude, made in Korea. Really like this suit. Nicely insulated. Okay, this is an Obermeyer one piece. And uh, actually, it's made in Hong Kong. But uh, you know, a lot of the manufacturers did go overseas at some point. But you see, this is, uh, what's this is basically a one color suit with a little accent color coming up this deal here. But what's so cool about this suit is these collar, I mean the shoulders. See, it has these little little shoulder pieces that are just like right out of disco era right there. I mean, you could almost wear this on stage, you know, and, and sing your old songs like the Commodores did or whatever. So, okay, Obermeyer, one piece, real simple, lightweight shell, made in Hong Kong. My most prized onesies or one piece jumpsuit ski suits this is a uh, decente and uh, what makes it really unique 
Well, one thing it has kind of that iridescent fabric that you see. This suit is really designed to be uh, over the top of a race suit, which uh, I do have a Decente race suit too, but if you have an assistant, anyway, uh, be difficult to do by yourself. But what makes this suit unique, it is a onesie suit and it does have a, a nice, uh, nice, you know, boot gaiters and all that down here, but all that comes completely apart. There's a zipper that starts at the bottom of the leg. It starts at the bottom of the leg. Let's see, and you can see it coming up here to the top of the neck. See? This suit, and that's on both sides. So this suit, uh, with your assistant at the race gate, can be completely removed without even taking off your ski boots. Okay? So this suit, uh, again, it has zippers that go completely from the top to the bottom that are hidden underneath here start the collar and go all the way down the leg so this suit completely splits open and allows one to come in or out of a uh, over layer of a race suit and still be kind of warm while you're while you're not uh, taking your race so this is a this suit i just love this suit so a little extra time showing you this suit but it does it, it's very very unique a decente suit okay this one is not that uh, fancy it's kind of boring but it's a nordica this is a Nordica suit. It's a, basically a lightweight shell. Pretty cool. It has that, uh, although it's just red and that's all it is really except for the black, you know, the little... This this will age your ski suits. These little patches where you used to rub your skis together a lot. I still ski that way a lot, but most people don't. Uh, anyway, blah, blah, blah. It's kind of an iridescent red. It shows really nice in the sun anyway, so... It's a Nordica lightweight shell, has a hood uh, built into the into the neck there as well. So Nordica, one piece. Okay, this suit is a Aussie. O-S-S-I, -S -S Aussie. Uh, this suit's really old. Uh, I have two suits that actually still have the uh, well this one is designed to go in the boot. It has the stirrup down here that, that holds your <laughs> well anyway. So this, this doesn't go over the boot, this goes in the boot. So these went out years ago, and pretty much uh, right here, it, for your modern boot, the suit would actually be down in it. It would be a little uncomfortable. But just for show, it's fun sometimes. It's, uh, it's very iridescent uh, uh, purple. So it really is one color, but it's that really fancy iridescent stuff we used to see a lot and go, ooh, those look cool. And this may be one of the very earlier suits that came out with this fabric. And this also has a, one of these funny pockets in the middle here that you just kind of wonder what that's for. I mean, they didn't even have cell phones in. Okay, so we talked about the funny little pockets before. So this is a really old Aussie, all purple, iridescent. And there she is. Got the funny little skirty deal here on it, you know. This is a femme suit, but it's okay. I don't care what I wear when I ski, as long as it's a onesie. Okay, this is definitely one of my favorite suits right here. This puppy is, well, it's kind of an off pink, orange, white. This is a Robbie. This is made entirely in the USA. Very, very quality built, one piece suit, really nice. Uh, some of these really nice suits. Like the last one I showed you too had a really nice inside. This inside is all white in this, and it's really nice. And it says Robbie all over in it. It's 3M Thinsulate suit. I mean, this this puppy is sweet right here. Okay, yeehaw, baby, yeehaw. I do like the pink ones. I have another one, and I'll show you that later too. Okay, this is <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Nature Liberty Geneva. This is the inside you're seeing right here. If I can show you that label there, I'm gonna have real good light here. So anyway, this is the inside, and then I'll I'll put this on and show you the outside. This suit is this is something else. Okay, we've got this Liberty Geneva suit on. What is so this suit is uh, this suit has uh, the really really iridescent uh, green on it, and uh, really a lot of nice accents. Look at this. Uh, of course, again, my light doesn't get as good. This is a real nice embroidery on this right here. One interesting thing about this suit is 
Uh, you got the super fancy colors, you know, when you open this up or leave it down, or you can just partially button this and over your zipper. And this is the only suit that I have that has these little lugs here that that do that, that go through these. Uh, anyway, this is way cool. See, so then you put it through those little lugs right there to fold this up. You can, you know, you can go all the way up with it if you want, like this. So. Anyway, you want to show those colors though. This is an awesome suit. Oh yeah, it's got the big fancy metal thing right there too. So like when the sun hits that, and it, you could just about blind somebody with that. Big fancy, fancy logo. Anyway, highly iridescent, uh, highly iridescent uh, type suit. We all remember that fabric. And uh, very, very cool. This suit is actually made in Portugal. Although it has the Swiss Geneva name, it's uh, made in Portugal. Okay, this is uh, a North Face uh, suit. And uh, actually, the North Face is made, this is made in the United States. It has a hood with it too. This is a Gore-Tex shell. Anyway, so nice hood with it of Gore-Tex. Uh, so anyway, this is not insulated, but it's a shell to keep you dry. You know, you'd wear some street clothes or something under this. But uh, Gore-Tex, uh, this is lavender. It's not real iridescent, but it's pretty shiny. So one piece North Face Gore-Tex shell. Okay, this is a Cirac lightweight shell suit. It has uh, basic black with uh, fluorescent accents. Of course, it's, it's gotten a bit old and has been used out in the sun a bit, so the fluorescence may not be as bright as they as they could have been once. Basic black fluorescent highlights, Cirac suit. Uh, I have no idea what country it was made in because I can't find that in the label anymore. But it's got the really pretty cool uh, emblem on the on the back there. You know your flashy stuff. So okay, there's the Cirac. Okay, this may be uh, the most valuable suit in my collection here. This is a Bogner. A Bogner's made in the United States of America. This is a really old suit and uh, it's kind of interesting in the fact that, that the jacket itself will separate from the from the pants so that you can wash the top part I guess itself. Then the rest of the suit is actually uh, got some special fabric inside here for the legging and uh, it's dry clean only which is somewhat unfortunate but uh, but this is a very unique Bogner suit it's it's very very warm I mean just putting this thing on right now it's so tight I'm getting freaking hot in here uh, basically like a pink, sort of an off pink with white, really flashy. Now see if I can show you these legs here. Okay, the, the, the legging is, is, a, is a very lightly insulated leg, and you'll see how old this suit is. Underneath here you got the, uh, this is some kind of weird fabric, like a, I'm not sure what it is, but this keeps you super warm, and you see you got the old, I call these stirrups. I don't know what the heck they really call them, but so that this your boot does go over this, and then uh, this goes over the top of your boot, which actually has little little ties down here that you can pull tight around your buckle. So anyway, Bogner folks, Let's see if I make this look right. Bogner, read it and weep. This puppy is still like brand new. Like most of my suits are not thrashed at all. Okay, this is a Farrah suit. No one piece collection is complete without a Farrah. And this is the uh, really highly iridescent fabric that just shines in all those cool ways when the sunlight hits it. What's really fun about this suit is it has one of these big double collar deals again where you, you got your, your inner and outer collars. And this one's got the colors and when you fold it back over you get the different colors out of it, you know, depending on how you how you hang it. But uh, the Farrah is a 
the light, it's insulated, it's very lightweight, and although it is very lightweight insulation, I find this Ferrisuit to be extremely warm on even some of the coldest days. It doesn't have a hood, but it's still nice. So. Okay, the Ferra. Okay, here's a fun one. This is a Mistral suit. And uh, one of the funny things about it is, it's, it, well, what I love about it, first of all, is <laughs> this is the spacey suit. Look, you got the big planet here, and then you got the big shooting star. You got different color sleeves, although this one's a little faded because it's old. Uh, it's still, I just couldn't pass this one up. Uh, this is uh, interesting. Inside it says where it's made, it says in the British crown colony of Hong Kong. <laughs> so I guess it's made in Hong Kong, but they wanted to really let you know it's British suit. And the funny thing is here it says Mistral Snowboarder right there. Yeah, really fun. The spacey guy. Yeah, go Mistral. Okay, I've only got a couple left to share. I'm not going to put this on. This is a Decente race suit, GS race suit. It has padding, padding down here around the knees and down the leg a little bit for your shins. And uh, other than that, that's the only real padding in it. Well, there is, I'm sorry, there is some, some padding on your, your butt right here in case you go down that you can take it in and out. But uh, Decente GS race suit. Definitely my favorite suit for speed, as obviously if you've never worn it, or if you've ever worn a race suit, you, uh, uh, you know the difference. Okay, Decente GS race suit. Okay, although this suit is not real flashy, uh, this is a marker suit, and uh, it's built really, really well uh, all the way throughout. Uh, really nice uh, marker suit. Probably not super old, but it does have the uh, guards down here for when you're parallel, parallel skiing, which again, you don't see those on suits as much anymore. And uh, anyway, the marker one piece, it's got kind of a, or what do you might call it around the inside of the collar, that uh, stuff that's really soft. So that's really cool. Anyway, nice suit, pretty standard marker. You got to have a marker in your collection, a marker suit. So this is my marker. Okay, this suit here is an Edelweiss. And uh, it's kind of wrinkly right now. And it's really prone to picking up my cat's hair. Uh, but what makes this suit unique is it has the accents are a, a suede type of a material. I mean, it may be faux, but uh, you don't see that too much on ski wear. The suede, so... Not a real flashy, super flashy suit. It's well insulated, keeps you good and warm. It's in good shape. And again, it has these accents that are that are suede, which is pretty cool for, again, for a ski suit. So Edelweiss, obviously a German name. I didn't quite catch where they made it in there, but. Okay, this is it, folks. This is the last suit. This is the suit I would be seen most often in, as it is extremely practical. Uh, onesie. Uh, what's nice about this show, for, well it's a German suit and uh, it was picked up over in Europe and I bought it from somebody over here in the US because uh, from what I know you don't buy show full in the United States. Uh, so anyway this is a really 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 well made suit. Now it has uh, the jacket does come apart from the pants via a zipper here okay and then when you take that off then you're left with uh, suspenders up here to hold your pants up so this is uh, a shuffle and yeah it does break apart but because it also zips together it is a Gore-Tex well insulated onesie it's got a built-in hood in here I mean this thing is a blizzard suit right here baby this puppy is nice, really nice. Schoffel, probably one of my most prized uh, suits, German. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the onesie show. We'll catch you next time around.